Hey guys, welcome to the studio. Today we'll do a foam project. It's a watercolor paper weaving. And so the first thing we'll do is create two sheets of paper, have fun painting them both, and then we'll cut them into strips and combine them together to create our own paper weaving. Hope you enjoy it. Now I'll show you how to get started. Okay, so when you're gonna create a paper weaving, you'll have to have two sheets of paper because one will become the loom and the other one you'll be cutting into the strips which will be woven into the loom. And if you're not really familiar with weaving, it's just basically using string, thread, yarn, or strips of paper in an over and under pattern, typically on a loom, to create a fabric textile or work of art. And so obviously we're creating a work of art with ours. And you can check out my other video that shows different watercolor techniques. Um, I'll be using the one where you use glue or paste today because it just creates a fun watercolor effect. But essentially, I'm just going to paint my two um, pieces of paper. And I'm going to paint them, one with like cooler colors and one with warm colors. Because when they're woven together, I want them to be somewhat different. Um, you know, so that there's that contrast. But you could really choose to do yours anyway with any type of colors that you like. And so at this point, I'm just going to start. Um, with my whole watercolor and glue process and kind of have fun and enjoy it and just paint until I'm happy with the way that my two paintings look. Okay, so now that my both of my watercolors have about dried, I'm ready to start creating what we call the loom. And a loom is just basically the foundation or base that's used to create our weaving. And so one of these will become the loom and then the other one will become the strips that we use um, to weave. So I'm gonna take this one because it's all the way dry and I'm gonna begin by folding it in half. And then on the back, I like to just make um, what I call like a stopping line across the top and you can get technical with a ruler if you want to. Um, you just need to leave some space. You don't want the cuts in your loom to go all the way to the sides of the paper because then all your strips will fall out later and so this way it just kind of keeps everything intact. So that's my stopping line. And then at this point you can draw your lines this way. You could draw curvy lines. Um, or you can draw lines and then tear on the lines and have a like a torn look, which is really neat. I'm just gonna kinda eye mine as I go and I am going to cut straight lines. And when you get to that line we put across the top edge, you will stop. And make sure when you draw that line that it's on the opened end and not the folded end because if you put the line there and you cut from here, you've messed up your loom. You don't want that to happen. So make sure that you draw that line close to the open end. And so now I'm just going to cut my lines for the loom. Okay, so at this point I have a loom and you can kind of see um, what that looks like and we can kind of bend it backwards to get that fold or crease out of there. And so now I'm ready um, to cut my other painting into strips to be woven into the loom. But you have to consider um, which of your lines are horizontal and which are vertical. And my loom, if I'm laying it this way and I have horizontal lines, then when my paper's facing that same way, that means these will need to be vertical. Um, and I'm not going to use this very end piece because my loom has that place where I won't weave. I'm going to cut this first strip off and just kind of lay it to the side. And so now, all you do to start weaving is, we'll start with this one under the first one. And it's just, weaving is just the over-under pattern. And so we're under this one, it'll go on top of the second one under the next one, on top, under, on top, 
under. And when you've made it the whole way across, you need to always slide your pieces all the way to the edge and kind of fit them in there. And then once you have that, you can use, um, if you have some glue on hand, and this is not something that you have to do, but just to kind of get them to hold themselves in place, you can just put a little drop of glue um, at the top and bottom if you want to. If I started the first one under the paper, that means I have to start the second one on top. I shouldn't put it under there like that one. It has to be on top of this first one. And so then I go with the over under pattern. And then you'll just continue going, um, starting under and then over and under and over until you work your way all the way across. creating your weaving. Remember there's another video that shows different watercolor techniques so if you're wanting to experiment with watercolor check that out and have fun. Please hit subscribe for more creative content. Thanks for watching.